Hi, I'm Nick Gray from Fandroid, and we are at Google I.O. 2019, and we're going to be taking a look at the new Android for cars that's going to be installed on the new Polestar behind me. It's a new all-electric vehicle that's coming out from Volvo later this year. Now, Android for cars is a little bit different than Android Auto, since it doesn't need an accompanying Android smartphone in order to operate. It's actually built right into the car's infotainment system and runs it completely. So we're going to go inside and check out some of the features that it has to offer and see how it's different from Android Auto. So this is the Polestar 2 infotainment experience. This is built on Android Automotive. It has Google Assistant, Google Maps, and Google Play Store inside. And what you're seeing here is the Polestar home screen with four tile, four tiles. So you have Maps, Phone, Media Apps, and then a Driver Performance app. So the home screen is customizable in that you can move apps around and then set different apps in different panes. So when you, go, when you go to the home screen, you have those available. Right now we have all the media apps clubbed together in this particular uh, tile. Now let's continue, let's look at Google Maps. Um, let's find a place for us to go to. Okay, Google, how far is Monterey? You are 78 miles away from Monterey by car. Okay, Google, take me there. Okay, Monterey, here we go. So maps will start to find the best route uh, to take you to Monterey. So it also includes traffic information, arrival time, distance. And as we talked about earlier, it's an electric vehicle. So it actually, maps will compute a battery on arrival. So you will reach with 57% charge left and you can decide whether you want to recharge before or not. Let's say we want to charge it, stop at a charging station. Okay, Google, charging stations. So maps will show you a list and place along your route so you don't have to take a bit, big detour. So let's pick one of these, let's say this guy. And it only shows you the connector types that are compatible for this car so you don't have to filter on your end. And it will also show you real time port availability. So there's one out of two that are available. So let's go ahead and stop here. And then the trip overview will update. So while we're on maps, let's talk about this particular screen. So this is a driver display and it's a 12.3 inch screen. Mm -hmm. So in there are three different modes in the driver display. Right now we're in the maps mode. So on, during the maps mode, it basically mirrors Google Maps uh, route guidance. Mm -hmm. So even if somebody is interacting with the map, your route guidance stays the same on the driver display. So mm -hmm. the driver can stay focused on their next turn or exit. Now the, I'm going to switch through the few modes. So the next one is a calm mode. So this is like minimal amount of information. It has speed limit, charge status, and then the mileage left. And then here is a car centric mode where it has car sensor information as well that's displayed. And then here's a maps mode again. Let's exit out of Google Maps and then continue to talk about some other apps that we have. So let's take a look at some of the media apps. So we have a few here um, that's um, installed on the device today. So the Spotify, Google Playbooks, iHeartRadio, Radio Line, YouTube Music, and NPR One. Let's start by taking a look at Spotify. So Spotify, you, if you're a Spotify user, you'd see the UI feels familiar. It's a Spotify brand, but it's built for automotive. So the icons or the cards are bigger, and then the buttons are also bigger. So as a driver, when they're driving, it's easy to take action. It also, you can also initiate playback using voice. Okay, Google, play You Lit My Fire. You Lit My Fire by Ann Brunn, sure. Playing on Spotify. Sorry, something went wrong. When you're ready. Okay, Google, play You Lit My Fire. You Light My Fire by Nate Roos, sure. Playing. This song I want to. Okay, Google, play You Lit My Fire. You Lit My Fire by Ann Brunn, sure. Playing on Spotify. So yeah, song starts playing and then again, the now playing screen has bigger icons you can easily interact with. You can also go to the UI and then select any track that you want to listen to. So I wanted to show one other media app. Let's. Let me take a look at iHeartRadio. So you have, again, bigger, bolder cards. So as a driver, when you're driving, it's easy to select what you want and then get going. 
So the car also integrates with the, or the software also integrates with the car radio, so you can ask assistant to play, you know, an FM station that you like. Let's switch gears and then talk about staying connected. So when you're on the move or when you're driving, you want to often talk to people or, you know, call someone. So let's see how you do that. Okay, Google, call Brittany. Calling Brittany Coleman, home. So yeah, while you're staying focused on the road, you can very easily initiate phone calls by asking assistant to. Now let's say you are about to receive a text message and then And if you don't want to interact with the screen, you can ask assistant. Okay, Google, read my messages. You've got a new message from Amanda Peter on Messenger. It says, hello, do you want to reply? No. That was the last one. And assistant not just integrates with maps and Spotify and uh, with the phone app, it also can control the temperature in the car. So you can control, you can set it to whatever temperature you want or you can adjust seat heating as well. Okay, Google, turn on seat heaters. Okay, turning on the seat heating for the driver. Yeah, and then let's talk about the vehicle function. So this is basically the Polestar team designed and developed this app. So here you go. This is the place where you would go to access vehicle functions and settings. For instance, if you want to turn on and off region rate of braking, there's like speed limit warning that you want to configure to understand your current charge level. And then there's like many more interior lights or seat arrangements that you want to configure. This is the main mm -hmm. uh, avenue for it. And then lastly, this is a multi-user system, as in you could have multiple profiles. Mm -hmm. So cars are generally shared devices, more often than not, two, more than one person is driving it. And then you could have your own profiles and accounts that are associated with that, with that profile, um, logged into that. And yeah, I think I covered all of it. Yeah, that's the demo. <laughs>